Hi folks, Philip Andrews here for the Elements team and in this session we're going to look at how to create some of those great Hollywood style techniques where you track the motion of an object in your scene and then add in a little piece of clip art. We're going to use this little sequence here, let me play it for you, and we're going to add in these great speech bubbles which track the two characters riding their bikes through our scene. You won't believe how easy it is to get this kind of high-end effect using Premiere Elements. Okay, so let's jump back to the base recording and just have a look at the actual video frames themselves. You can see the kids riding through the frame, the boy in front, the girl behind. We want to track both of them so we can actually follow them through the frame with the caption. So the first thing I'm going to do is just drag up the playhead just till we start to see the boy coming into frame. Then I'm going to go and click on the motion tracking mode button that's just above the timeline area in our workspace. You'll see that we have a pop-up that indicates to us that Premiere Elements can actually auto-analyze this track and provide motion tracking automatically. Instead of using that today, what I'm going to do is just click No and show you how to do it manually. We get a new options bar at the top of the workspace, just above the preview area, where we can just click the Add Object button. This gives us a marquee that we can click and drag to reposition and resize in order to match a particular part of the frame that we want Premiere Elements to track through the video. Once we're happy with the positioning of the marquee, we can just click Track Object. Premiere Elements will go off and then look for that object in each of the frames in the video sequence, producing a little motion tracking trail. Once it's completed, you'll see a little yellow rectangle around the object. Let's look at how well it's done. We'll just click Play here and you'll see that rectangle follow the boy through the frame. So that's excellent. Now we're going to get to about this point here where we actually want to then start tracking the girl's head so we can look at adding a caption to her head as well. So at this point we'll go back in and click on the motion tracking mode button and then click no again. You'll see that we already have one frame here. Let's move forward a little bit just till we start to see the girl's head and then we'll click Add Object again. Go through and use the marquee to set up the size and the shape of the selection area to match the girl's head. Looking good. Click Track Object again and Premiere Elements goes off and does the tracking. So now we have two rectangles sitting here. So let's pop back to just the beginning where the boy is in the frame and we want to put in the first caption. So we'll go up to Edit and then across to Clips, and we'll just look at the subset of clips where we've got thought and speech bubbles. There's a whole bunch here that we can use. Let's click on this one, speech bubble right, and we'll click and drag it across and just drop it into frame. We then get a pop-up that allows us to add some text. I'm first, and click OK, and there we have it we have the speech bubble sitting with the tracking frame. Now notice the tracking frame has turned to blue. This is handy because it shows that the speech bubble is actually linking with that particular tracking frame. If you've got multiple tracking frames in the scene, then you'll know which one you're animating with. Now that we've got that one fixed, we can go down to the next one. And we're getting close here. And we want it to disappear before we get to this point. So let's just look at what's happening in our timeline. You'll see we have a speech bubble entry here, which actually indicates that it's running right the way through to this point. So we can shorten that up by just clicking and dragging it down to here. So let's look at where we end up with. I'm first, let's drag it down just a little bit more. And the other thing that we might do is we might right click on that speech bubble entry and just go up to fade in the pop-up menu and click fade in video and then go to fade again and fade out video. So that way we have the speech bubble fading in and fading out. So it's around about this point, maybe a little bit further on, that we want the girl's speech bubble to pop up as well. So let's make the preview a little bit bigger. 
scroll up and just drag this down a little bit more click onto our video go into our motion tracking mode again click no you can see the boys tracking rectangle there okay let's just move forward slightly till we see the girls tracking frame appear click on the girls motion tracking frame type in some text oh really click OK and there we have her speech bubble and then just click off the motion frame or back onto the video itself and we'll just render that out and see how that looks boys comes in fades in fades out and the girls comes in and notice how both of them follow the riders now we need the girls one to actually stop around about here I think so let's just drag back the speech bubble clip to that point let's render that out and then have a look at the final version so the boy comes in and it follows his head and then the girl speech bubble comes in as well excellent so with a little thought and imagination I'm sure you can come up with your own video sequence where you're using the motion tracking to build some interest into a scene.